So, reverse out of there and around there and then drive out through here. I surprise myself sometimes, you know. Actually, we just very gently pulled it back around that corner. I don't think we had any contact at all. Very proud of that. Makes a bloody change. And um, so now we're leaving Hockley Port. What a smashing little place this is. Heading down into Birmingham, uh, mooring in Gas Street Basin, and we're going to stop here tonight. Go and explore a little bit this afternoon. But I have a little visit to make first. Oh, yes. job bye bye Hockley Port what a little treasure Gas Street here we come So, the Soho Loop, lots and lots of building going on in Birmingham. All these luxury canal side apartments. The thing, probably though, is um, these won't really be for locals as such. I feel sorry for young people because I don't think many of them will ever get on the housing ladder. Certainly young couples. I'd like to be proved wrong if the council have done a done a deal with the developer um, to offer assisted purchasing. Be nice. But um Generally speaking, these sort of things tend to be expensive. Well, I keep reminding people that nice one they built in Brig House, just opposite Sainsbury's. We were moored there once and a bin bag just came out, boom, straight down into the canal. I suppose easier than taking it down to the dustbins, but. So we're coming back now where we join the sort of like, uh, the, the sort of arterial canal going in. We were gonna go around a couple of the loops, but they're just building sites. Um, so no point really. One observation is, it's a lot more bloody noisy around here on a Monday than it was on a Sunday. <laughs> God forget more than that little Hockley port there could have been in the middle of nowhere it was lovely this though is um, back very very industrial noisy not sure anyone who buys any of them flats is gonna live next to that big whatever that is over there making a lot of noise but you know Progress and all that. Progress. Here we are at the the loop, the crossroads, as it were, and uh, could go straight on. Not going to. Uh, we're heading into Birmingham. A little two. Down, have we? 
letting us through. Perhaps not. Well, Soho Loop. One of the other observations is we've been following the weather forecast, obviously, uh, since coming back last Thursday. There's a couple of days where it's just said it's going to chuck it down with rain. And we have had, instead, rather jolly weather all the time couple of days it's looked like it's threatened to rain a little bit but hasn't last night however it's today the 20 I don't know is it 24th or something today 25th I'm not sure might be even more than that I don't know I'll have a look later but uh, news this morning was there's been some very serious flooding in London a couple of underground stations flooded out a couple of hospitals um, yeah coming back again to that thing that will possibly sadly put COVID in the shade which is uh, climate change and <clears throat> I I don't know Covid, there are things that we can sort of do in the in the short term um, to mitigate the effects of that, things like lockdowns and whatever. But in the longer term, climate change. Ooh, that is a worry. Anyway, that loop. Um, strangely distracted. That loop goes all the way around the back of all those. Like I said, those apartments, those um, Tenerife style apartments, and comes out here at this little exit. So we could have just come round there, but it's, um, it's a bit of a building site. Wasn't too sure what we might find in there um, to get a wrapped around the prop, as it were. So for uh, we just we just slide gently back into Birmingham. Quite nice to find quite a few bins along the side and they, they look like they're provided by the Canal and River Trust. Don't let it be said that I don't praise them when possible but provided of course they empty them. There was one on the Soho loop which was over spilling but uh, it is just nice to see because people will enjoy walking along here and bins are an essential part to stop rubbish being dumped. So a nice gentle little run now back into Birmingham.
<clears throat> that is a very strange and not massively attractive development. I don't know what they're trying to emulate with that. But not for me that. Mind you. <laughs> I don't know. No. Let's not do that. Let's not go there. The distillery. where we are. I've come back to have a better look at this building. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn around. There's a very nice smell of ganja there. Right. And then more back where the ganja smoker sitting in it. Um, and that'll be almost it for today, I think. There we are, we found New Street Station. That's a little bit strange, isn't it? I wouldn't want to get too stoned and look at that. That's a bad acid day. Birmingham New Street is shiny and wavy. And it does beg the question, how do they keep it shiny? <laughs> it really is a strange building and I've no idea how to keep it shiny. A slightly different view of Gas Street and look at that, we've got a little moss and grumble. Oh, we've got some neighbours arrived now as well. Gas Street Basin, boys and girls, in the heart of the Birmingham Canals. Padlocks. As with almost any other bridge in the country, there's padlocks, padlocks, padlocks. So we've got a very nice, very not nice, very nice, very not nice. Who designed that and said, I know, that'd be a nice thing to put in Birmingham. Fuck's sake. But that. That is pretty lovely. There's a bonfire over there as well. There's a bonfire over there with big tall spinny things, scary things. No, I'm all right. I do very much approve of that beer tap. <laughs> now boys and girls, have a little guess where I am. I am inside that building. How bizarre. And um, I like it. 
<laughs> I shouldn't do, I should really hate it. It's just, I think it's because it's next to the canal. But, how bizarre. I think that's lovely, brilliant, well done. Too late to back out now. <laughs> Another boat has arrived. So, I'd be tempted to see what's in them glass bits, but um, last time I went up in a, a lift really high, that was um, downtown LA, wasn't it? In, was it Metis or something? Can't remember what it was, but I freaked out and had to go straight back down again. So no tall buildings for me, but I do like that. We were going to the rotating cocktail bar. Oh, we were, and I couldn't get out of the lift. Let's not tell people that. Gas Street Basin by night. It's almost European in Birmingham. We've just been there. It was all right. It was, you know, a chain radizio. It's okay. It wasn't outstanding, but it was okay. <sighs> That's it now. Another day. Done and dusted all over. So, second night, third night in Birmingham. I do like Birmingham. I have fallen in love with Birmingham again, 40 years after I first came here for a very pretty girl with very nice, uh, very nice uh, personality. Anyway, that's it boys and girls. If you've liked this rubbish, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Pop us a, a little like up. And uh, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, but it's 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 flashing red, so it's no good. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right. That's it. It might be. That's it, boys and girls. You take care. Until next time, stay safe.